Today we're continuing our early look at who is in the race for Arizona's 2nd Congressional District. That seat held now, of course, by Representative Martha McSally. We've already spoken with that woman at the top right there, Leah Marquez-Peterson, on the Republican side, Billy Kovacs, a Democratic candidate. We spoke with him yesterday. And joining me here is Ann Kirkpatrick. She is another Democrat trying to unseat Representative McSally. Thank you for being here. Appreciate My it. My pleasure. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, you are on the record. You've, been, you've done politics before. You continue to do politics now. You are on the record as more gun back background checks, something very difficult to do in Washington right now. How do you think you can help get it done? Well, I have to tell you, um, Gabby Givers was a mentor of mine mm -hmm. in the state legislature and also in Congress. Mm -hmm. And I support her legislation. I think we have to do something. But I also, I'm a grandma. Mm -hmm. So I have three young uh, grandsons. And, you know, I worry about what kind of future they're going to be looking at. And that's mm -hmm. why I'm running. Um, I want to talk a little bit more about this gun background check. Uh, you, you know it, it's a very difficult thing to do in Washington, especially in the current climate. Do you have an idea on how to get over that first hurdle? I do. So the way you, you pass legislation is you build relationships. Mm -hmm. So I really make an effort to get to know all of my colleagues, uh, regardless mm -hmm. of their party, mm -hmm. and then find that common ground. And it's an amazingly diverse country and an amazingly diverse Congress, mm -hmm. but you can find that that common ground and that's how you get things done. So you previously served in the House of Representatives in Washington. Yes. You were successful in getting legislation passed. You left to run for Senate. Why do you want to go back to the House now? Because I really feel like uh, we need people who can work together to get things done. And yeah. I hear that all the time everywhere I go. People are just saying, you know, we want Congress to work. We want Washington to work. There's a lot to do. But I come from a bipartisan household. So my mother's family were Republican ranchers and my dad's family were Democratic business people. And I always said it made for really interesting family get togethers. But at the end of the day, we're all Americans, we're all Arizonans, we're a family and we can work together. How big of a job do you think bipartisanship is right now? I think it's more bipartisan than probably um, people think. Uh, because I know the members w really want it. They care. You wouldn't run for Congress if you didn't really care about getting mm -hmm. things done. Um, the tax plan, I want to talk about that real quick. It's clearing hurdles, going up for a vote today in the House, expected to pass the House, Senate, and head over to the President. Um, part of it, it repeals the individual mandate, also lowers the corporate tax rate. Would you, how would you vote on this today? Well, I would vote against it. So I, I support the middle class. I think we should be giving tax breaks to the middle class and not big corporations. Quite honestly, mm -hmm. that's what it that's what it comes down to. Um, another thing I wanted to ask you real quick is, you know, Democrats are, are, are on this run right now. You saw it in the Alabama Senate race with uh, that up, upset uh, with Doug Jones uh, winning there against Roy Moore. Do you think there is a change that we're starting to see now in this country and in politics right now? Well, I can only tell you what I hear from people that I talk with here in Tucson. Uh, and what they're saying is they, they're just, and you have a background of getting things done, of being able to work across the aisle, of being able to build those relationships mm -hmm. that we need, and that's what we want. Mm -hmm. I want to go back to the tax plan very quickly. Uh, you, you said it doesn't support the middle class, um, and the, the, the Republicans say it, 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 it does. Where, where is the middle ground there? Is there middle ground? Well, one of the things I think people really need to know about it is that it, it does away with the student loan Mm -hmm. uh, deduction. Now I have four kids, uh, all who went to to university, and have overburdening uh, student loan debt, and and they're going to be hurt. Uh, and so again, why do we favor big corporations over the middle class, the working people who are really struggling to get along? Mm -hmm. Do you think there is a big climb in Washington to get everyone on the same page? Well, I think I think we can do it. I think um, you know I have a history of of making that happen. And, and one of the great stories in my background is that uh, the man who defeated me in 2010 is in Congress. Mm -hmm. When we were both served together, we decided to put our differences behind us and work together to get things done for Arizona. All right, so that's so rare. Yes. They called us Arizona's odd couple. <laughs> <laughs> Anchor Patrick, nice to meet you. Candidate for the 2nd Congressional District. We will speak live with Dr. Matt Hines in just about 20 minutes. So keep it right here on Fox 11 Daybreak. We will be right back. Stay with us.